Kia ora, internet. My brother has a pretty big birthday coming up soon, so I think I want to make a little present for him. He's really into a motor racing game, which he plays online with a group of friends and they have these massive racing tournaments. And that's kind of had an idea bubbling in my head for a while that I like to make a cushion which is based on the black and white checkered flag, the winner's flag, and add his racing name which is Stum and his racing colours onto it. So I've got a very vague idea of what I want to do which means that as always I'm going to be making this up as I go along but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I've said before that I don't ever use solid white or black but for a checkered flag I kind of have to. I did think for a minute about making it scrappy but I think it just wouldn't have the same effect so solid white solid black. My plan here I think is to do something like a bargello which would hopefully give the effect of a waving flag. So first step is cut out some strips and sew them up into strip sets. It's always a wee bit tricky to know how long to make the strips for Bargello because you don't really know how many strips of each width you're going to be cutting until you start laying them out. Or at least I never know. I'm sure some people plan it all out in advance but I prefer just making it up as I go along. I've made two sets of 2 by 22 inch strips. Each set has 12 strips, 6 black and 6 white. Hopefully that'll be enough. Because I've only got two colours, I don't have to sew my strips into a tube like you'd normally do for Bargello. I can just reverse every second strip and that will have the same effect of staggering the blocks. Again, because I haven't planned, I don't really know what strips to cut, but I think I'll start off by cutting a couple of strips at two inches, then one and three quarters, one and a half, all the way down to three quarters of an inch. And from there I can work at how many other strips I need to cut. I think that layout will work. I've just gone from the widest strips to the narrowest and back again. And it kind of gives the impression of the flag rippling in the wind. Real Bargello would have more obvious waves because there'd be more colour changes which gives you those edges that you can see moving up and down the quilt. You're never going to get that with just two colours. But it does give this nice optical illusion of 3D movement. I like it. Right, that's the easy part done. Now I have to draw the nameplate, which I'm going to applique on top of the Bargello. This is probably a good time to check the size. Okay, that all looks good. I want the name to sit in an oval, so it sort of looks like the numbers on old racing cars. I can use my light box to trace one quadrant of the oval onto the other three to make it more symmetrical. And now I can trace the shapes onto Fusible Web, remembering to trace from the back so that the letters are reversed. These colours are about the closest match for the racing colours I could find in my stash. I think they'll look okay. I'm going to stitch down the applique while I'm quilting. The letters I'll do just with raw edge, but I want to zigzag around the oval to give it a little bit of a border. I'll add in a bit of straight line stitching along some of the lines of the flag, mainly just to secure the batting. Oh that's looking great. So now I just need to turn it into a cushion. Because it's a rectangle not a square I can't really just go and buy a cushion insert. So instead I'm gonna sew on a backing and stuff the pillow then sew it closed. I've got a couple of the strips of the checkerboard left that I didn't use so I'm going to use those to hide the hole for the stuffing. I'll just leave a gap in this seam and then I can hand sew it closed later. I am so pleased with how this turned out. Hopefully my brother likes it too and who cares if not because I still had a lot of fun making it. Happy birthday little brother. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. Mm -hmm.